Hello, it's time for some tarot tea with Lee. Um, I'm going to spark up my little plant medicine. My herbal essence. Get the energies flowing. I was preparing and putting things where they need to be and saging and and uh, I didn't get a chance to relax a little, but I wanted to get on before it gets too late. Uh, tonight we're going with Gemini. We're going to see if we can get some good Gemini energy in the room, right? <coughs> Get some angel, uh, uh, some some archangels to lead the way, right? We're gonna pull out the light seers to see what they talking about, what interpretation they giving me tonight, you know? Cause we here to see what I think I see in the cards, what I think. The cards are trying to tell me my interpretation, right, of the cards. So if you would be so nice to subscribe and 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 and, and maybe push the little bell for the notification, we'll let you know when I'm on. If this reading resonates with you, great. Take what's for you, leave what's not for you. You know your shoe size, you know what's going on in your life, you know what decisions you're making, you know what's going on with you, right? Because we have free will. So since we have free will, that determines our destiny. No matter who says what, your actions determine. So for Gemini, we have key phrase, I think. And it's an air sign mutable. It says, the fast moving energy of air moves with mutable flow and suggests that you consider every option. Gemini energy is very fast moving and can easily get distracted. There are so many things to be curious about and pay attention to. Okay, Gemini. So, uh, maybe, uh, maybe, uh, for some of you, for some of you, you might want to slow down, right? Just a bit, because sometimes we need to slow down so that we can stay focused, so that we can stay focused. And instead of be always thinking, <coughs> uh, you know, you know, because you focus, so you see things and you know how to go about things and how to react to things. So let's see, archangels, and let. Can you uh, enlighten us for the reading of Gemini? Enlighten us. Give us some clear path. Archangels, can you get some messages for Gemini? Some guidance so that they can uh, stay focused and so they can... Uh, be able to make good decisions, not be hasty. Okay, we got something, Gemini. We got something, Gemini. We got something, Gemini. Let's see. What's, let's see what the angels, the archangels, got to say for Gemini. So, Gemini, we got we got three. We got three 
We got three. Nice. And they look nice. I see green. I see green. It says, ooh, ooh, ooh. It says, four of Raphael. Four of Raphael says, seek out other possibilities. Look for the magic in life. Be aware of your own emotions. Be aware of your own emotions. Nice. So, slow down and pay attention to what you feel. Don't try to be too fast. Get yourself caught up. Three of Raphael. Oh, this, this probably was the other way around. Reasons to celebrate. A community of friends, happy announcements regarding relationships or children. Beautiful. Three of Raphael. So you have the three of Raphael and the four of Raphael. Yep. Reasons to celebrate. A community of friends, happy announcements regarding relationships or children. Seek out possibilities. Seek out other possibilities. Look for the magic in life. Be aware of your own emotions. Well, they came out this way and they sound better this way. Because it sounds like this is what you need to do so that you can have a reason to celebrate your, you know, and then you had three and you have the four of Gabriel. Whoa, weddings. Let me see if that's a wedding. Let me see. Time for a celebration. Oh, you got two celebration. Nice, Gemini. Nice, Gemini. Abundant rewards for hard work. Release yourself from burdensome situations. Okay, well, it doesn't say. <laughs> but it looks. So we got some we got some some romance, some happiness. We got green, we got green, and all the cards got green. Because even though this is orange, which to me always is like a, a new day, like right here with green, right? So it goes this way, right? So we coming out of the green into a new day, but the new day is still green. Okay, Gemini. Okay, Gemini. So far, the angels, you know, they're looking out. They're letting you know. They're giving you some guidance. Giving you some guidance. And let's see what the light seer got to say. Let's see what the light seers have to say for Gemini. For Gemini. The light seers. Oh. Woo. Mm -mm -mm. Some more, please. Light seers. The energy in the room. Gemini, Archangel Raphael, Archangel Gabriel, the energy for Gemini, here we go, okay Gemini, okay Gemini, <clears throat> what does Gemini need to know, what does Gemini need to know? The energy for Gemini, Gemini energy, enlightenment, illusion, illumination, give them some insight, some understanding, conclusions, to help them stay focused. Guide them. Help them make decisions to see their their uh so they can seek out the possibilities. Energy for Gemini. 
Lightseers, can we get some info up and hot so we can get it? Crack a lack it, lack it, lack it. Lightseers, some guidance for Gemini, the energy for Gemini. Gemini. Gemini energy, Gemini. Let me go. Oh, uh -oh, Gemini. Okay, Gemini. Okay, we got some. We got some. Something the Gemini, the energy, so that we can give them a complete spread, so with so that we can give them some enlightenment. What is the T for Gemini? What is the T? What is the message that they need to know? Gemini people, what do they need to know? What do they need to know? Okay. Okay, we got energies out here. Okay, let's see. Let's get one more. One more. One more for Gemini. One more for Gemini. One more for Gemini. One more for Gemini. What is the T for Gemini? What do they need to know? What do they need to know in this upcoming situation so that they can have celebrations? One more. Thank you. We got one more. Yep. Nope. Two more. <clears throat> Okay, Gemini. Okay, Gemini. We got something going on, Gemini. Let's see, let's see. Okie dokie dokie dokie. Oh, I'm late running out of room. What is going on? Don't push it back no more. All right, here we go. I'm going to just leave them and move them around as I go. I don't know what I moved that. I lost space here. Okay, for Gemini. <coughs> Gemini. I could have swear I got these same two cards in the beginning of... Uh, who who was it that I was doing? I could have swore I got these same two cards lately. Late. Okay, so Gemini, if in in the re in the past or in the recent past, right? Uh, you've been feeling in the dark. You've been feeling um. Like, uh, like you're drowning, like you, like you can't really see the light at the end of the tunnel, right? 
uh, this is the moon card, so it, it, it it's also like secrets and like um, it just keeps telling me can't see the. I feel like for some of y'all, you don't see the light at the end of the tunnel. Either recently or not too long ago. Maybe uh, it's the 18 keeps jumping out at me, so maybe 18 months, a year and a half, that this has been um, weighing you down. Um, I feel like um, you're calling for this to come to the light. Or like, well, this this was in the recent past or like a year, a year and a half. So I'm going to leave that there. Right? And whatever that is, only you know because you know your life and you know what's going on in your life and you know what decisions you're making in your life and you know what goals you have for your life. Right, Gemini? Right. So that situation had you feeling had you feeling we got the five of pentacles um it had you feeling down and out it had you feeling um like you was in it alone it had you feeling like you was locked out of your um I was going to say out of your home, but it's it's not, I mean, the door is huge and, and this is pentacles. So pentacles to me is like in the material world, it's, it's your pentacles, your career, your success, your, uh, your, your money, um, you know, material things, uh, you know. Things that that, that 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 need finance or or uh, you know things that you that you need to build business, things that you need to um, to pay your bills and stuff like that because it's pentacles and the pentacles just keep you know and um, but you're not you're not. You're not, you're not locked out because the key is right here. And um, you're, you're, you feel overwhelmed. But this is in the past and this is, this is probably, this is probably, this could be like now or like recently or like that. That, um. That you've been feeling this way. Right? But. But you manifesting. And you're creating. And you are working. And you are creating magic. Magic, Gemini. The magician. Ooh, ooh. Somebody's creating magic. Somebody is putting energy into it. Somebody is um got his chakras, he she got the infinity sign on the head. 
which, oh, you know, it, it means infinite things, the divine, infinite. For me, it always means love, but that's just my personal, but it's infinite. Infinite. So someone, I feel, Gemini, I feel that you're going to get the answers you need so that you can unlock. So that you can unlock whatever it is, what, whatever you need to unlock, whatever you are manifesting in your life. Whatever is your dreams, your desires, whatever it is that you're working for, whatever you're putting your energy into, whatever you're creating, because you're creating magic right here, you know? Um, and then you got the Ten of Pentacles. So you're moving right along. You, Gemini, whoever this is for, you are creating your Ten of Pentacles. Family, stability, foundation, um, of a happy life, Ten of Pentacles. Ten of Pentacles is a lot of people's dream come true. Financial stability, um, 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 uh, family foundation, structure. Yes, yes, all oh, the babies is happy, yes, yes, beautiful card, you're manifesting it, you're manifesting it, okay, so, <clears throat> So, for he or she that this reading is for, right, you are manifesting your Ten of Pentacles. And that's going to give you the reasons to celebrate, a community, of, a community of friends, happy announcements regarding relationships or children. Okay? So, the celebration... Probably got some weddings going on. Because as soon as I seen this, it made me feel like a wedding. You see that? And look at the angel blessing it. Look at the angel blessing the wedding. Well, I'm not sure if it was, it's a wedding. But it looks like it to me. And that was the first thing that it, it looked it like to me. <laughs> okay? And you have the magician. And in this card, right? For Raphael, it said, look for the magic in life. Be aware of your own emotions. Okay? So be aware. Be aware of, of your emotions and how you go about them. And, you know, let's stay positive. Let's stay positive because... You're moving into, you're moving into your dreams coming true. And it's all your dreams coming true. Family, um, um, children, relationship, um, uh, your pentacles, your pentacles, all of it, all of it is coming true. Yep. All of it is coming true. Um, oh, all of it is coming true because your wheel is turning. The wheel. Okay, I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm wondering, like, it's because I don't have a lot of room, so they kind of fell, and, and I seen this one under this one, like, what was it doing there? Your wheel is turning. Your wheel is turning. It's, 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 it's time for, you know... Oh Lord, it's time. The world, the world card. Boy, oh boy, they both was right there. Good. So therefore, it's a complete 
this card is a complete. Yes. The completion of a chapter. The completion of a uh, of a cycle in your life. Right? The cycle of your life. So, when this completion happens, the wheel is turned. We don't know how fast the wheel turns. We don't know when it turns. Only your actions and your free will dictates which way it turns. Right? And so, therefore... You know, you know, are you going left or, or are you going right? Or did you put in the work to do that? You know, um, King of Swords. The King of Swords. Uh, for me, the King of Swords um, he fights his shadows. Like in if if y'all go back and y'all watch the uh, my introductions of the cards, I don't know why I killed this one fly a hundred times and I swear it keeps coming back. Like, what the hell is the problem? I don't even know how. I don't open my windows or anything. Oh, my goodness. But anyway, the King of Swords, if y'all watch my introductions, he had to fight his demons. The King of Swords found himself in a dark place in the beginning of his journey. And um, he's been, he had to pull himself out of that place and he had to fight shadows and he had to bag them and tag them and he had to find his uh inner light and he had he had a hell of a journey the king of swords but when he gets to this stage in his life when he gets to his kingship when is his time, you know, when he's in this cycle? And he ain't no young bull. And he ain't no young bull. And he finally should. Um, when he gets to this uh, cycle in his life, he has already done all that. He done all that. He battled. He fought. He, he, he figured it out. He came out of... All kind of darkness, addictions, um, obsessions, um, uh, not seeing the end of the tunnel, not, you know, in his head. He, he's done all that. He's mastered that by the time he's here. So for some of y'all, whoever this is, when your wheel turns, it could be male or female. You know, I always say he because I see he on the car. I see she on the car. I'll say she. But this is for whoever it is. You know who you are. You know who you are. You know if how you felt. You know if you felt like you was in the dark. You know if you felt like you was left out in the cold. You know if you had to figure it the fuck out and create some magic out of nothing. Okay? You know what's your goals. You know what you want out of life. Right? When this cycle finishes, for some of you, for some of you, you will come into the King of Swords energy. And for me, this king has been through it. This king has had to learn many lessons before he can get here. But when he gets here, he has all his spirit guides. Okay, he don't have one or two. He has, he has Al. He has Raven. Raven been there since day one. Yeah, Ra Raven showed up when he took that crazy ass. Yeah. He got Dragonfly and he got Bat. 
Yes. 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 And he's still a little guarded. And he still will off with your head. Okay? <laughs> Gemini. Right? So let's not overreact. Let's not, uh, you know, let's slow down. And let's try to stay focused. And let's not uh, off with nobody's head. Okay? So, Gemini. For some of you, for some of you, we got some more male energy up in here. Or female, or whatever. But, we have two kings on the table. Gemini, we have two kings. So, for some of you, you might... Oh my goodness, and since this is right in the middle, I can't help it, but I'm just going to say what I got to say. I'm just here to read the cards. Don't kill the messenger, and if it's for you, you know it's for you, so stop fronting like it's not for you, because you know it's for you, and for some of you, you have a choice. I don't know if it's a choice between two kings or two queens, but you have a choice. <laughs> you have a choice between two people. Are you going to go left or are you going to go right? He's a trip. But sometimes you got to go through a lot of things to become strong enough to sit on this throne. You feel me? I'm just saying. I, I got I, I to gotta give the king of swords some, you know, I got to give him props because he went through a lot. And I'm a Pisces. And I'm an empath. And you know how, you know, we like... We, we, <laughs> we always like the bad guy, I guess. What the hell? Like, what the fuck? <laughs> it is what it is, and he's gorgeous. What the hell? And then you have a choice. And then you have the, the choice of the king of wands. And the king of wands is fearless. And the king of wands is strong. And the king of wands... Is passionate and the king of wands is stable where this king probably likes to move around and probably rather be outside in nature when whatever he likes to do so you got a choice you have a choice and the choice from my point of view from my perspective from what I'm looking at in front of me right now this choice or this whatever you was leaning for you know you going this way you going this way you know, like, that is what, like, she's trying to figure it out, right? Oh, and not only, <laughs> I'll be on the money, dog. Look at the, I was just saying that if you choose over here, you're going to choose stability. And if you choose over here, I'm not sure. Not that it's not a stability, just that. He's a trip, like, like he probably likes to live in the woods, okay? And he probably, whatever. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna, I don't know. You know, you know who you choose in between, what the fuck? So, you see this energy? <laughs> I'm just gonna say what I see in the cards, and I'm just trying to help somebody out. Whether it is 
a female or a male, right? Look at this shit. I was saying that he looks like he's not, that he like, he likes to live in the air, right? And that he seems to be more stable. Not seems to be, he, he, he's stable. He's standing strong in his shit. Right? And he fearless because he, that tiger, the lion behind him, he ain't scared of that fucking lion. Okay, so look at the white, look at the, the, the light energy going towards him. And look at the dark energy going towards him. So, baby, girlfriend. Oh, 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 homie, homie or girlfriend, whoever, male, female, when you choose, when you choose, be aware of your own emotions, because you're trying to release yourself from burdensome situations. Right? So that you can get your, your, your fulfillment. So that you can get your ten of pentacles. So that you can, you know, move on to happier days. And, and out of the dark. And out of the cold. And all that. You know, you're trying to move this way. So your cycle is coming to an end. Whoever this is for, if it resonates for you, if it sounds like something that you you know that, wow, you know what I'm saying? You can hit the subscribe button, like, share, comment, say hi, and you know, let's 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 communicate. You know, let's communicate. I might have way more for you to you know, here, the tea will leave, you never know, it could be bubbling hot, right, <laughs> so your cycle is coming to a complete, complete cycle in your life, and depending on what you manifested here, it's dependent on what you're working towards, the choice you make is going to leave you here, gonna leave you here so Gemini Gemini you have a choice and you have oh I didn't even see this card three of cups three of cups look like they're wishing on the stars they're wishing on them stars looks like to me like they're wishing on them stars so, this this cycle, this finish, I really got to fix my desk. This is ridiculous. Really ridiculous. Like, stop playing. It's bringing you, it's bringing you, I seen it, I seen it right here. Reasons to celebrate. A community of friends. Happy announcements regarding relationships with children. Seek out other possibilities. Look for the magic in your life. Time for celebration. Abundant rewards for hard work. Release yourself from burdensome situations. Be aware of your own emotions. So, celebrations, happiness. You have a choice to make. The cycle is ending. The cycle is ending. The cycle is ending, Gemini. I'm looking around like a crazy... Okay, let's get some angel answers. We'll get some angel answers. Yeah, we can get some angel answers. And then we'll wrap it up. Oh, there go my other card. We'll get some angel answers. And then we'll wrap it up. Okay, Gemini, that was pretty good because we're coming, you know, out of the cycle, out of the new, out of this year, and we're coming into the new year. So, you know, there's a lot of possibilities ahead. You know, 
whatever lost this year you, you lost this year whatever oh wow that was a whole bunch um you know we have to we have to take the lesson and learn and um you know don't go too fast don't go too fast you know you got time you got time and you know stay focused stay focused Stay focused so your dreams can come true and, and, and whatever you manifest it and and uh this one. This one. That's it. I felt like another one turned over. Like another one turned over. Uh, I don't see it. Let's get one more. Uh, angel answer for Gemini. Angel answer for Gemini. The energy for Gemini. Do you have any answer? Any question? Any answer for their questions? For Gemini. For Gemini. Before we wrap it up. The energy for Gemini, angels, guides, spirits, ancestors. Can we get, oh, we got it. We got it, we got it, we got it. We got it, we got it. Oh, we got it. Oh, hmm. Remember, I was saying stay focused, right? It says, yes, yes, the cycle is ending, your dreams are coming true, time for celebration, perfect timing, perfect timing, perfect timing, so whatever it is, whatever it is, that you're manifesting. Be assertive. Be assertive. Be clear of what you want. Be clear. Don't doubt yourself. Be clear. If you need to write it down so that you can see it in the material world, write it down. Be clear of what you want when you're manifesting. Be assertive. Be honest with yourself honest with yourself when you're manifesting because the angels are saying that yes it's perfect timing so gemini yes it's perfect timing it's perfect timing the cycle is ending you have a decision to make you go left you go right there was two kings on the table or, you know, however it fits into your life. You coming out of all that darkness and all that superficial shit that you was feeling. Because, you know, we got we to gotta grow. We got lessons to learn. Those things are what helps us to learn that lesson. Those things are uh, when we go through these things, these, these, these chaotic moments in our life. They come into our life to clear out what is not for us and to help us know what is and to bring in because what's for you gemini is for you yep you don't want to sabotage you have free will it def it de it defines it defines your destiny okay so we have spirit guides we have the Lord, we have whatever you believe in, whoever is your higher power, and however that works for you, will guide you, will protect you, you know, prayers and, and all that work. But your free will and what you choose to do and what your actions are 
is what dictates the next step. And so therefore, let's make good decisions, Gemini, because the future looks bright. The future looks really good. And I'm gonna show you. These cards look like past and then coming in and then coming in. Look at that. A new day is coming. So you got a decision to make. And you have to uh, be aware of your emotions. Be aware of your emotions. Follow your heart. Make good choices so that you can get good outcomes. Okay, Gemini. So that was your tea. Whitley, I wish y'all good night. I wish you all the best. Always with good intentions. Always with good intentions. God bless. Stay safe. You know, stay safe. Stay focused. Um, make good choices. Make good choices. You know? So, bye-bye, Gemini. Subscribe, like, comment, share. Hit the little bell, the notification, so that you can know what's bubbling in the tea next time with Lee. Bye.